Hi, my name is Cecilia and I work for DMC. The purpose of this video is to show you a really cool augmented reality experience that was created with a program called Vuforia Studio Pilot Program. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm showing you guys my Android screen and in the top right corner you'll notice there's an application called Vuforia View. This is basically the application that allows you to see the experiences on your smartphone or tablets. So once I click on it, it's going to take me to a window that basically scans using my camera for thing marks, which you'll notice is going to be in my bottom right corner. So as soon as it recognizes it, it's going to pop up with all of my experiences that I've associated with basically this QR code. And I created a demo for what's called the AWC Best Fest, which is a technology festival that occurs every year here in Houston. And it's always done in a brewery, so I thought, what better demo to have than one that's associated with beer. So once I select my experience, a 3D model is basically going to pop up on the screen and conveniently I chose a beer tank. So on the left you'll notice that I have some values that are changing and these are values that are actually being simulated by a Raspberry Pi and it's being sent up to the application through HTTP requests. And the really cool thing about this is while I made it easier on myself and decided to simulate values, you could easily connect sensors to your Raspberry Pi and basically showcase real data in your augmented reality experience. If you wanted to put this in a factory or industrial application, you could set this up to your PLCs. You could set this up to your lab view acquisition program. As long as it's capable of sending data through an HTTP request, it's an easy enough project. Another really good application of Euphoria Studio Pilot Program is its 3D manipulation. So as you can see here, you can easily import CAD models into your program and manipulate them using all sorts of buttons and toggles that come with the program. So at the very bottom, I have a slider that controls rotation. So automatically, it'll pop up with a view like this. But if you wanted to show the other side of the tank, you could easily just like rotate it. You can have other applications such as enlarging the model, uh, moving different parts, translation, etc. The list goes on. There's a bunch of different possibilities. And another really nifty program is you'll notice that I have some play, rewind, and fast forward buttons. You can create animations and sequences using one of the programs that you'll get in the pilot program. And basically this allows you to create step-by-step -step sequences which can be used as instructional modules for employees or students. So let's say, for example, I wanted to showcase how to open the lid to this beer tank. I could push the button on the bottom that says play all, and it'll go through every single step in my sequence. So remove the screws, open the lid. If you wanted to close it, do the exact opposite. And that would showcase everything. If you wanted to do it step by step, instead you could hit the play button and then go at your own pace. When you're ready to see the next step, hit the next button. Alternatively, if it was going too fast, you missed a step, something got complicated, you could rewind it. Go back a few steps. Is it going too slow? You could fast forward. So you can see that there's a bunch of different possibilities as far as like animations and sequences go. It has a lot of applications in an industrial setting, work setting, etc. And another really good thing about this pilot program is that it's super easy to navigate. It's very user friendly, everything is visual, there's not a lot of text-based languages. So for anyone basically trying to pick something up with no prior experience to ThingWorks, Vuforia, PTC Creo, it's not a hard program to learn. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know.